Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video we're going to show you how to access and navigate Cloud PM and offer some time-saving tips when working with different screens and modules of the program. The customer code distinguishes your property from others. MSI has supplied this code to your management who will share it with you. The property code we're using is for one of our test systems here at MSI. In order to log into Cloud PM we'll have to enter our credentials. Your manager or owner will create a user and temporary password for you to access the program. If you're following along, go ahead and enter your username and password, but please don't log in yet. If your hotel uses stations, select your station from this drop-down list. A station defines which front desk devices that your Cloud PM session will be able to access, such as ID scanners or secure credit card readers. This test system does not use any of those devices, so I can leave this blank. Also on the login page is a button to change your password if desired. Now we'll click the Login button. Upon a successful login, Cloud PM displays your landing page. For most hotel staff, this will be the Reservations module, which is where we are now. On the left of the screen, there are two sections. In the top section, the Reservations module is expanded and all of the functionality associated with that module is visible. In the bottom section, there are other modules available. If we wanted to move over to another module, there are a couple of options here. If we click on the module name, you can see that this will trigger another tab to open in the browser. This is helpful if we're going to be working in multiple modules today. Speaking of tabs, if you right-click on the desired module, you can choose to open in the same tab or to open in a separate tab. Moving over to the area which we refer to as the dashboard, let's look at what's available on this screen. First, let's point out that we can display projections from today and any day in the future by advancing the date by clicking on the arrow buttons. Another option is to use the ellipse button to select a future date. By clicking on the month, we can choose another month to jump to. This also works for the year. One of the great features of this screen is that by hovering over these counts in blue, you'll notice that they turn into a pointer finger. This means that it's a hyperlink, and by clicking the link, it'll take us to a list of guests that meet this criteria. For example, clicking on the guaranteed arrivals for today will generate a search list of today's guaranteed arrivals. Clicking on the Reservations Home hyperlink brings us back to Cloud PM's dashboard page. As you can see, there are several other hyperlinks located on this page for quick access, as well as being able to run a room status report and an in-house guest list directly from the dashboard. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.